Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial on turning your Android smartphone into a portable, personal hotspot. This is a handy technique for sharing your mobile data connection with other Wi-Fi devices like your tablet, laptop, iPod Touch, or even other smartphones. Portable Hotspot is only available on phones running Android 2.2 or better, and some carriers may block this feature. To check the version of Android you're running, tap the Menu button on your phone and choose Settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the list and choose About Phone. You'll see Android version about three quarters of the way down the page. Assuming you're using Android 2.2 or better, here's how you set up your hotspot. From the home screen, tap the menu button and choose settings. You can also find settings in your app list. Select the top item, wireless and networks. Look for tethering and portable hotspot and tap it. Tap portable Wi-Fi hotspot settings and then select configure Wi-Fi hotspot. Give your network a name in the SSID field. This is the network name that people will see when searching for nearby Wi-Fi connections. Tap the security field. We advise using WPA2 PSK, as if you're leaving your network open, anyone can connect and potentially even see data that you're transmitting. Tap the box to show password so you can see the characters you're typing. In the password field, type a password that's at least eight characters long. Now, tap portable Wi-Fi hotspot to check the box and start your Wi-Fi network running. You'll see a notification at the top of the screen that your network is running, and for as long as your network is up, you'll see a small blue icon in the top left of the screen indicating that the hotspot is active. Connect to the portable Wi-Fi hotspot like you would any other access point by choosing the network and inputting the password when prompted. Thanks for watching this tutorial on configuring and using portable Wi-Fi hotspot on your Android phone. For other great mobile tech tips and tutorials, visit Butterscotch.com.